Hi everybody, hello, hello, and welcome to Happy HQ. I'm here, Leslie Ullman, and I've also got Morgan here, looking over there, watching on for comments coming through. Um, and we're here to wish you a very happy new year. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Um, and we thought that it would be fun to do a quick card tonight. Um, and we are trying, I'm trying to do it within half an hour. So fingers crossed I can do that because um, I have to go and do something after that. We have got Cassie here. Hey, Cassie, how you doing? And hopefully some more people will join us in a little bit. Um, I'm going to make a card, a birthday card for a friend of ours whose birthday is on Sunday. Hopefully I'll have a chance to send it. <laughs> Never send cards on time. Are you guys as bad as me? Probably not. Um, so I'm going to use um, a circle, stitch circle uh, die to make the base of my card and I'm going to be calling upon Morgan to help me uh, get and do some bits and pieces of this card so we can get it done hopefully within that half an hour mark and uh, we'll get as far as we can during that. Right, so let's flip the screen over and we'll see what we can do. Right, oh, you've already done it. Right, Morgan, are you ready to do the first thing on my list? I am, yeah. Okay, we've got Susie here and Sarah too. Hello, hello. Florian's here too. Hey. All right, so I have a piece of white cardstock. Morgan, can you use this die? This is from the Heffy Doodle Stitch Circles dies. And die cut two of these, please, using the Gemini. Here's okay. a pair of scissors for you if you need that. So I'm going to use my stitch circles as the base of my card. So I have a circular card. And my friend Mark loves to go diving and it's a bit of a theme that I nearly always make him a card that has underwater sharks fishy type things um, but today I'm going to go for a crab from a little, a little shellfish um, so I'm going to pair it up with this go cray cray it's your birthday but I think what we're going to do is add the word hugs onto this card as well so I want to um, create some color on this card. You probably can't even see that. They, this is the hugs dies, the letter dies, that comes in our slimline quartet die set. They're perfect size, they're nice and chunky. So I'm going to start today by coloring in, adding some color to each of these letters. Now I've pulled out my Catherine Puller swatch book here. <laughs> Cassie says she's so bad at sending them to. Yay, this is not just me. Peggy's here, Sharon as well. Yay, lots of fun people. Peggy, I loved your card. I loved it, it was awesome. I'm going to pick out some blues and greens, I think. Gotta have that little sea theme. So this is the beach retreat. This is one of the most latest. Um collections from Catherine Pooler. I'm going to pull out probably these last four maybe. Serene, cold blue, tranquil and beige greens. I keep mine in stacks so the top of my stack will be sparkling berry. Let's see if I can find that. And these are in a drawer so if the system works they should all be here. Here we go. Seagoss, Bay Breeze, Tranquil, serene, and cold blue. Oh, I love these. They look so pretty. I'm going to grab um, some brushes, I think. Blending brushes. We're all about the speed today. Do you guys ever challenge yourself in regards to doing something quickly? I think sometimes it needs to be done. Ruth is here too. What a useful swatch, she says. It really is. And they're actually, it was actually a collection of stickers. I bought stickers that go on the side here. And before I stuck them on, I was like, oh, I know what we need to do here. I need to photocopy these. So to be fair, these aren't exactly the true, true colours, but they're true enough for me, so I'm okay with that. Cove blue for my H. Next up, shall we go for tranquil? Maybe. Uh, let's see if I can get a scrap piece of card here. Take the excess. Ooh, 
flying circle. Oh, flying. It's a flying circle, not a flying circle. <laughs> not today. No, no. Not today. <laughs> Let's get the excess off this. Two circles. Awesome. Right, what's this one? Tankwell. Mm, I feel like maybe we want to go for three. Why not? More purpley. Uh, Marie Elaine Walker says hello from New Jersey. Hello! Did everyone have a lovely Christmas? It was quiet over here, wasn't it, Morgan? Do you know what? It was a nice change. <laughs> I'm hearing that from a lot of people, actually. All right. Peggy says, thanks bunches, Leslie. I think I'm not sending it out. I'm just keeping it on my wall. Yeah, just right. All right, let's go for some sea glass. Oh no, I thought I missed a color. Obviously not, never mind. Should go for some sea glass next. Ooh, that one's quite intense. And Bay Breeze for the last one. I need to make sure my S is the right way up. It has a little bit of a different a fatter bottom like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to actually come in with a little bit of the blue just to, or maybe the purpley tone, just to bring in a different tone to this one. Make it stand out a little bit more. Oh, wait, you've sat down and you need a new job. I don't know, apparently. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so if you can work it and take the paper creaser and crease a line across here about a centimeter down, just across like this. And then that means that we'll have the base of the card and we'll use this for the front of the card. Hold on. Did you say a centimeter there? Yeah, about a centimetre or half an inch. That's an inch. Well, okay, about half an inch down this way. <laughs> it's not an exact science. I also need some wipies if you can come to terms sure with where they are. Some of them up. You can ruffle them up. Florian says, oh, Florian says, I love that first colour on the H. Yeah, it's really pretty. That's cold blue, I think that one was. Oh, oh. thank you. Clean that up. Lovely, jubbly. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want you over there. Thank you. Right. So next up, I'm going to take my little crab. Am I though? Um, actually, let's take the sentiment because it's going to go at the bottom, I think. And maybe we could bring in that um, color theme again. Let's put this in my misty. My mini misty will do the trick for this little card. How are we doing for time? 24. We're doing good. There's one, Chris. It's awesome. been a little small now that I've done it, but... I think it'll be fine. As long as we can glue it together at the top, it'll become a card. Cool. That's no problem. No problem. Right, you're next... Uh, my next request for you, Morgan, mm -hmm. is to pull out... I'm going to actually use the balloon room stencil. Awesome. So I'm going to create a little bit of a balloony background. So I want a yellow colour and a sort of light orange colour and a light green or a light blue, something that's going to tone in with these, but not too not too cray cray, as they say. Oh. See what you can come up with. And I'm going to use the cold blue to stamp this. Now I will say that the I don't know what cardstock I grabbed for your circles. Did you <laughs> notice what cardstock it was? I think it was just a white just, letter. Sometimes. It wasn't the Heffy Doodle one, so I hope that this is going to... Oh, it worked beautifully. We'll claim that it was the Heffy Doodle one then, seeing as it was so beautiful. Peggy says, gosh, love those letters, but have yet to use them on a card. They're actually like super duper easy 
They're a great uh, size. Right, so we have them here. Of course we need some crabby. No, my crabs are very small, so let's see if we can use any of these remnants of paper to stamp our little crab design. So we do have a crab, we've got a hermit crab, and we have a lobster. I think given the fact that it's a fun card, um, people are not going to be too bothered about the fact that there's a crab sentiment, but there's a lobster on it. So we could put the three on it if we wanted to. But I have made this card slightly smaller than my normal um, proportions. And we do have quite a big sentiment with the hug. So let's start with two. Mr. Krabby in a Mexican wave. Whee! And then the hermit crab. Jessica says, hello all. Hello. All right. I don't think that needs another stamp. I think that's good to go. Did you get some, Morgan? So I've got two choices. Two choices. Okay. Two choices. Put this over to the side and I shall see your choices, please. There's my first choice. Let's go. Okay. 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 Well, I have to go with these and these are a bit more muted. So I'm probably going to maybe... Go towards more muted colours. Let's see what else we've got. Mm -hmm. And I thought that the one was three. Oh, yes. These are my winners, I think. Thank you for your choices. Um, And I will pull over my blending brushes again. And get inking. Let's see, I'm going to start with glitz. I'm going to go quite light. These are quite juicy ink pads, actually. I might have to take most of the ink off before I add on. So this is the Balloon Room stencil. Great for creating a really quick, fun, celebratory background. Right, next job for Morgan. Maybe take out my Copics mm -hmm. so we can colour Mr. Crab. Mr. Crabalicious. Okay, so one of the, the best ways I like to use this stencil is actually to overlap the balloons. I think it makes it look, look really fun. Let's try my martini. You dropping things? I'm all fine versus fun. Yeah. Do you know I went to Little, you know, the grocery store yesterday. Uh-huh. And as he was putting things through the till, I was putting them in a bag. Yeah. And I lifted a thing of flora, which is butter, and it just like jumped out of my it hit off. There's like a guard thing. It hit off the guard and it jumped down. And I went, butterfingers. <laughs> and and the guy behind the till absolutely creased to the point where I felt super awkward because I hadn't actually intended it to be a button. But it was super funny. <laughs> That's just me. Every day I'm punning. <laughs> so they're shuff shuffling in puns. <laughs> All right, so we've got some greens on there. I'm going to add another one maybe down here with a little overlappage. And then uptime. So uptime is quite intense. I've managed to get a little bit of ink here. That's okay, dudes, because we'll cover that with our hugs. We'll cover that one. No drama llama. Um, shall I go for uptime? I'm worried it's going to be too intense. I have to practice. Get my scratch notebook here. See, it's quite intense, but maybe that second. Mm -hmm. Mm 
There we go. That's better. Get the tail of one on top. Uh, Jean says hello from Florida. So excited to have you guys here. Thank you for uh, joining us for this speed craft session. <laughs> I hope you've got ideas for speed craft for the next one, Morgan. Should be the next Olympic sport. Yeah. Speed crafting. Speed crafting. I think that speed crafting is much better when you have a Morgan next to you, to be honest, to, <laughs> to, to tidy up after you. And that's for you now too. Right, so let's color in. Mr. Crab 1 and Mr. Crab 2. And should we go for some reds? A different color to what we've got on our card, but I'm okay with that. Love his little face. Super cute. Now, Morgan, did you have something to tell people about a promotion on the store? Oh, yeah. We uh, decided to do a little promotion on the store. Yeah, come and speak to the microphone. So, if you use the code, I'll pop it in the comments as well so you guys can see. But it's STEN, S T E N, 2022. You guys will get some money off on all the Happy Doodle stencils. Ooh, so you could treat yourself to the balloon room stencil. Yeah. Or any of our other ones. So S T E N. 2022. 2022. Which for some reason I can't get my head wrapped around at that stage. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're like, is it really though? And how much discount is that? Would you believe I can't remember? Oh. I'm literally just about to check. I think it's 20%. 20%. If it wasn't, I will make it 20%. You should make it 22%. I would remember that. Remember. <laughs> right, so what? We've got a little shell happening here. I was a bit stuck with colours of shells there, but I think I might actually add a little bit of purple to this because you know why not why not oh i love it it's nice it's got a lovely purpley sandy colored shell and I think we'll give him a ready orange face and claws. And once it's done, I'll pass him over to Morgan to cut out. Is that okay, dear? Uh-huh. Doing good. We're doing good. So if you need a challenge to get you into the swing of things for 2022 why not challenge yourself to some speed crafting you could even take this um dial as a jumping off point for uh, making a card that would be fun Brian says any ideas for the day of the new release maybe um not at the moment unfortunately we've, we've we have had quite a lot of illness over here in my family anyway you've been okay haven't you morgan touch wood. oh no touch wood indeed um so and even today moments before i got home i was retrieving dear mr craig omen from the hospital there you go dear thank you um so oh my dad's loving these days oh they're in there somewhere so we have not been able to get on top of things as quickly as we would have liked but hey ho and um we're now at the point where there is a closure for some of our manufacturers in january no not january february so we just have to work with what we've got so i'm going to use the 
and happy doodle double sided adhesive strips to adhere on the back of my hugs. I'm just placing them roughly where they need to be. Because I'm actually going to stamp on a couple of little star images just to bring some of the, these colors in my hugs into the rest of the card. So I have used, I've got little tiny star images. This is in the Chimply the Best stamp set with these cute little monkeys. So there is a, an open star here and then an even teeny weenier open star as well. So I'm going to just very carefully pick up some of that blue ink and do a couple of stars using that one. And the itty bitty star, I'll do the same. And the itty bitty one, I'll probably do more of because it's smaller. And I'm also using a lighter color, so I can kind of, it's not so overpowering. How are we getting on? I have one little dude. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, we have a second little dude. What's their name? Didn't you name them? Uh, Charlie and Frank. Ah, oh, very good. I've just, that's characters and it's always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we get an insight into your mind, isn't it? Where was it you that said it was one of my, one of our previous employers, Charlotte, who was like obsessively watching Lucifer. Oh, it was and then... some, of, some of the old coupon codes yes. <laughs> uh, spell out Lucifer Morningstar. <laughs> <laughs> if, not if you were looking at them individually, but it, whenever you saw them like together. In a list. In a list. Way. <laughs> <laughs> we thought that was funny. It's a good program, Lucifer. Yeah. Although I find it really funny. The guy that plays Lucifer was um, the boyfriend yeah, from Miranda. and Miranda. Yeah. And I'm like, oh! That's so funny. It doesn't even like seem possible because he was such a different character, you know? Yeah. Some of our American friends probably haven't seen Miranda. It, it's worth watching a few clips on YouTube if you can find them of uh, Miranda. It's it's quite a British sense it of humor is though. Very British. <laughs> But it'll be interesting. I don't know how well it's aged either because it's, it's been a while since it was on the TV now. Yeah. She's such an endearing person, though, Miranda Hart. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I've got my hugs. Almost. I've got my, I've got my hug. And I think we're doing really well considering speedcraft.com. Yeah. I can confirm it is 20% off of the stencils. Okay, cool. Thanks for checking on that. STEN2022, all capital letters. And that code is valid until Friday, which Ooh, I think is the 14th. A little bit of a flash sale happening. Yeah. So if you guys are watching on Catch Up, you can still use the code too. Yay! Yay! All right. So you can pick up them because I only have <laughs> one nail left. Let me see your nails. I haven't actually seen it. I haven't been close enough to My see it. My ones. They're pretty. But also, they're not appropriate length for picking things up. Well, I'm just going to have to try. Yeah, I've managed. There we go. <laughs> Speed crafty. You don't have time to, like, fiddle with things. So I've added a little bit of liquid glue to this fold-over flap here using my Glubert. Cutest glue in the craft room. And I'm going to line up my two circles and smoosh that guy together like so. If I had a clothes peg or a bulldog clip, I'd probably clip it, but I ain't got time for that. So where are we going to add? How's that? Or should we do 
both on top. Maybe. Oh, I like him in the hugs. I like him in the hugs, y'all. Something like this. That look good? Because it looks like he's got his arms out to give a hug. Oh yeah, it does. I never noticed that before. I love it. All right, so let's add a little bit of foam tape. This is the Heffy Doodle three millimeter deep foam tape here. Is this Charlie or Frank? I don't remember oh, now. No? That's us over our fight over our twenty five minute. That was our twenty five minute warning there. There we go. Nice. All right, I think we are done. Yay! Just get Frank on there. There we go, guys. I think we did great. If you really wanted to, you could cut a little uh, flat bit here. Just a little smooshy bit like that. And that helps hold it upright. Um, whenever it is, so it doesn't wobble around. Here we go. Here's a little look at the final card. Super quick. I think we've been within the five, the the thirty minute um time. Did we, did we make it within thirty minutes? Um, oh, thirty minutes, and it's at thirty two seconds when I looked at it there. Yeah, but we started. It was on a countdown of like yes, I'm one minute under. Yay! Florian says the foam tape is just perfect. I only buy yours. Mine got a little, mine dropped on the floor and I stood on it. So oh, um, yeah, look, <laughs> but it still works. So don't you know? Don't have to be judgmental. To him. Just because it's a little bit unappealing, <laughs> it still works. We all have bad days. <laughs> all right, you guys. I'm gonna head off and say goodbye, Morgan. Hello. No goodbye. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> she needs to come home and rest. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I really enjoyed the speed crafting. Maybe we'll get another one in. Um, what day is it today? Wednesday? This is Wednesday. I'm still in that Christmas tree. Oh, you know, I have no Wednesday. idea what day. <laughs> Louise McCulloch says, very cute card. And Marie Elaine Walker says, OMG, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yay, I love it too. And we might even get it photographed tomorrow and in the post. So Mark might get it in time for his birthday. Yay! Mm -hmm. Never happens. <laughs> Bye, you guys. See you later.